Walking that bitch on my toilet. Walking that bitch with the O's. They bit it, they bite and they look. Hello everybody and welcome to another X-Bikes video and today guys the plan is very simple lap everybody in this lobby okay I want to get one lap ahead on every single person on this gate right now um, but that's not the only way we can do it if people rage quit um, if people I don't know connection timeout you never know what can happen mid race and so we're gonna push it to the end I'm gonna give myself two attempts okay two races in this video to do it uh, hit that sub and hit that like button guys it's gonna be very hard to do we might not even get close I don't know but we joined up on a noob lobby because let's be real like any other lobby, it's just, it's, it's basically impossible. Um, at least under the parameters of seven minutes plus two laps. That's just not enough time. But I think with this competition, I think it might be possible, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that something at that like button. You know, just, you know what's going on here. Come on. I'm also still sick, so that's kind of good what's going on with the voice. Um, I have to get lucky on this first corner. Oh, I almost got lucky. We did get lucky. Yes. Alright, so there's a couple guys in here that are going to be tough. And I think Reed is one of those cats. So we need to get around him quickly and swiftly. And not have any drama. There we go. I would not hold that line, Reed. I'm going to be honest. Okay, Reed. Reed! I'm on your inside. It's not your line. Anyways, we might have to get a little dirty. These lobbies are already just insanely chaotic anyway, so I don't feel bad how, for how many people I take out. It's, it is normal. The hardest part is going to be getting through lappers, I think, but we need to actually get in the lead first, because that is yet to happen here. That crash is very unfortunate. Lost a lot of time, but... If we could do about an hour, just got to keep plugging away here. Keep launching that. Launched a little too much there. Health locks are tough on this track as well. I think it could help us a little bit because a lot of guys are going to get stuck in them. Which will help us with time, but... Just trying to run quick laps. It's so easy to get your handlebar stuck in them or something like that. And it happens quick. I mean, sometimes it's just not avoidable. It happens so fast. This rhythm is the important one, and man, is it hard to get the full one on the 250. This guy right here is riding very nicely right now. Riding as good as me. But something I've seen in pub lobbies is it changes quick. And this guy right here, we could pass him and he could fall all the way back to ninth in one lap. I mean, that's just how quickly MX bikes move, especially in pub lobbies. send that and I think we'll be able to pass him before the whoops here maybe yes we will want to block pass him and there he goes dude he wasn't paying attention you got to expect that if you're in the lead boys was if you're leading a race and someone kind of does something like that to you that's on you my guy now it's different if you get t-boned but if he takes your front like that it's your fault bro I'm bullying little kids right now, bro. This is not okay. Um, anyways. Anyways, we have a lot of time left in this race, and we need to focus up. Uh, this is 11th place right here, so... We're about to lap into the top 10 soon. We're running really good laps, so we just need to hold this pace. Um, the main thing is we cannot crash. We cannot afford to crash. That is something that cannot happen. Maybe make a couple mistakes with lines, but... Cannot crash. And hopefully the guys that are in second, third, kind of those guys that are a bit quicker, hopefully those guys go down a decent amount. I know the lappers are going to be tough for those guys. Especially on a tight track like this. But they could be tough for us as well. So we'll see how this goes. We're going to come up to a pack soon, and I think that pack goes all the way to 7th, so... We're about to start making a lot of passes coming up here. 
Bro, I am absolutely sending it around this track right now. Okay, somebody just went down in the whoops, I think. Yep. That's where it gets tough right here. Cut down. Oh, beating Noel's line. Dive up this inside here. Okay, dive through the middle, dive through the middle. No, he freaking switch lines. Get up. Oh, he took the other guy out. Alright, he's gotta stay calm in these situations. And we'll be fine. We still have tons of time. I think we'll easily lap into fourth, unless we start getting taken out by these guys. We should easily get into lap into fourth. I think trying to get those top, you know, second and third guys, that's gonna be the hard part. Keep sending that. Yeah, this is tough. Look at that, guy in seconds already got six seconds on me from those crashes. Crap, dude. A lot of RNG with lappers. Because I'm not in a position right now to take it. I can't take it slow. I have to send everything. It's kind of just up to, like, MXB luck if they move or not. Which usually does not happen. Cuts are also kind of crazy on this track. But I might have gotten cuts that lap, actually, which is unfortunate. But I don't think it matters if you lap somebody or not. Someone dc That was Reed that DC'd. So that was one of the things I mentioned earlier. If we can get some of these fast guys to disconnect, because that's usually the guys that leave or the guys that win a lot and then they get destroyed and they're like, all right, I'm dipping. So if we can make those guys quit, then that could just eliminate second and third. So we're coming up on fourth place here very soon. Now third place, so we only have one guy to lap. Coming up soon here, we're gonna have to try to catch this dude in fourth, who's not riding that bad, so maybe I'm speaking a bit too soon here. But I just passed sixth place right there. Now he's in fifth. Oh wait, never mind. Wait, yeah, I read this disconnect. Okay, okay, I'm thinking right, I'm thinking right, I'm not dumb. Alright, so now we just have third and second place to lap. I doubt either of them will leave, so it's unfortunate. Chat's off, so I can't trash talk him into leaving. I don't know what we got to do here. Dude, that's like, I mean, you want to talk about bad luck right there. I don't think you could have much worse bad luck. We did survive it, though. We got a bit lucky there. Yeah, we're getting tons of time on this guy in third. Lap it up to third is not bad. We're only one guy off. Was that him right there? It's not him. Oh, God. Look how many people quit this race, dude. That is insane. I think we did naturally lap all the way up to third, at least. But, uh, not a bad attempt number one here. We still have to lap this guy in third. This guy's just cutting the entire track here. This is crazy. I don't know what kind of line that is, but you're about to get a lot of cuts. This is wild what I'm watching in front of me right now. What is this guy doing? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. He's bad ping, too. Alright, we got him. Alright, so this guy right up here is in third. So if that guy in second either rage quit or just wasn't in this race, we would have done it. But not a bad first attempt here. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I do want to apologize to all these guys because I'm obviously way too good at this game and played it way too many hours to be in these lobbies. But listen, I wanted some content. Okay, wait. He did leave. Oh my god, this is it right here. I have to pass this one guy. And this guy's cutting the entire track to get in front of me. He's going to go down. He's going to, he's going to put him off the track. This is it, boys. We're going to lap the entire field here. Let's see if this guy fights back. He's got to fight back like this is for the win. He's not even going to fight. No shot this happened first attempt, bro. There is actually no way. I don't know what happened to the guy that was in second. He just disappeared. I don't know if he disconnected or if he cut the track so much his lap didn't count. But there it is, boys. We lapped the entire field on attempt number one. 
that's pretty nuts. Can we go back to back though, guys? Stick to the end of the video. All right, boys, now we're on a longer track. We're at Forest here. This is gonna be a bit tougher because the track is longer and we're under the same parameters as seven minutes plus two laps. So this is gonna be a good 15 seconds more. We'd have to gap everyone by um, in the, than in that previous race where a couple guys left. We kind of got given that, that, uh, that thing. I mean, half the lobby left. I think we still easily would have lapped up through fourth, but there's a couple guys we probably wouldn't have gotten, but they did leave. They did exactly what I said they would on the gate. And um, hey, we'll take it, bro. We still technically got it done. So we'll see if we can do it two times in a row. Um, we don't have a great gate here. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for the start or not. I usually try to ego the starts in these lobbies because I mean, I feel like I should get them. I've played this game long enough to know how to get good jumps, so. You never know when someone goes full bore, though, into the first corner. There's going to be some death ruts as well. This could help us if there's a huge pileup. Uh, there really wasn't. There's a lot of guys, but we are out front. We got clear track. And now we just got to go, boys. And we have to try as hard as we possibly can early on here. So these guys know there is 0% chance they win. Already got some people. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, boys. Almost just uh, coughed myself to death there. Uh, we already got several people leaving the lobby, so that is good to see for us. Uh-oh. Turn. Shift the fourth gear there. You do not want to be a high gear when you're trying to turn quickly. It does not work. Already getting a pretty good gap here. Already about three, four seconds. But we gotta just keep, keep it consistent, keep it going. We got some time with this race. And we need to ride as fast as we can because we need as many laps as we can. If we're behind the timer on one lap before the timer runs out, that means we'll shorten the race by one lap. And that one lap, I think, will be the deciding factor here because it should be about a nine lap race, I'm guessing. Maybe 10. So if we can gain about five, six seconds a lap, we are on pace. Seems like there's a couple guys kind of breaking themselves off from the main pack. They're trying to hang with me here, so... Kind of similar to last race. There's two guys that kind of... Could hold their, kind of hold their own a little bit, so... This is going to be interesting. All we can do is just send it. track doesn't have much of a skill gap it's a pretty easy track so it's hard to gain time on as well if we're on a super hard like mxgp track for example definitely wouldn't be able to lap the entire lobby but i'd be gapping by much more this track is just it's very easy it's very it's very easy to not crash so Hopefully those guys in second and third start going down or rage quit. Rage quit's probably going to be our best option here. So far we're on pace to lap everybody else all the way up to fourth. And our first victim is going to be right here. He's in 15th. And there you go, the guy in third left right there. I'm telling you guys, this stuff happens a lot, man. There's guys that are in lobbies that they're used to winning and when they get gapped really early in a race, they'll just leave instantly. You don't get better doing that, by the way. So if you guys are newer players and maybe you're starting to win a little bit, don't leave those lobbies you do terrible in, man. I Trust me, there's plenty of pub lobbies that I don't do great in either. And I just got a podium in a Supercross race. So it, it is what it is, but you know, it shouldn't be taking pub lobbies that serious. But this guy, in, this guy in second is very quick. Very consistent as well. This guy, we'll probably see this guy in some pro races in the future. Doesn't have a lot of speed, but he's very consistent. Only seven seconds back. That's pretty dang good so far. Now, the track's going to erode a lot as well because this server has a lot of erode on it. So that's also going to help us with some of these newer guys in here that are going to be struggling. This guy is going to go down a very bad spot. We'll get by him. And we are just on rails right now. We're just sending it. 
So I don't I don't know if that guy in second's gonna quit, bro. Doesn't seem like it's so far. It's not impossible. I feel like the next chance for him to quit. Oh, he he just quit right now. Look at the boys. Can I tell the future, bro? That's actually insane. I said that at the freaking start of that first race. I'm like, dude, the only way to do this is not just lapping people. Just let the fast dudes quit. And that's exactly what's happened so far. But this is not over. This guy in second now is 23 seconds back. He's kind of holding ground a little bit. So this is not over by any means. Don't think I think it's over. I do not. But it's very possible now. Because that guy could go down to lappers. And he's going to meet lappers pretty soon here. I think other than that, we should be able to lap everyone else pretty easily. Looks like the guy in third has kind of separated himself as well from the from the main pack. So, the guy's doing pretty good as well. And I'm just taking my laps off. I'm just going as fast as I can without crashing, obviously. So, we're getting into the pack now. And that guy's going to go down get around him and we are officially lapped up to top 10 so you can see the timer now <clears throat> oh my god I just almost copped up a lung there uh, you can see the race timer so a lap on this track for me is between a 103 and a 104 and so it looks like we're gonna get another lap done before the timer expires which I said earlier in this race is gonna be really important to do just kinda of maximize everything so even after this lap we'll have three more laps to go which is great so very happy with that uh, but now it's gonna to get to the hard part of just trying to get around lappers it's not easy to do in this game when they don't get out of the way and these guys are not moving oh got two of them side by side that's the worst combo Try to send it around the outside here. This guy's gonna get out of the way. So thank you. Oh, okay, he went down. This guy's gonna let me go by. All right, that was like best case scenario there. So guy in second now is 36 seconds back. We have three laps to go. So mathematically, this is looking sort of bleak, but I still believe in myself here. 10 seconds a lap is kind of what we're gonna have to get. Um, which is very possible, trust me. Things can happen. Oh, now it's 41 seconds. Wait a second here. Oh my goodness, this might work out, boys. Okay, but we're gonna have to lap some pretty... These guys are not bad at the game. They're all pretty quick, some of these guys that I'm about to lap. They're just inconsistent. And that's kind of how most players are when you start out. That guy right there. I don't even know why these guys are going outside. Come on, man. Alright, we're catching this man here. Oh, almost broke the foot peg there. That was sketchy. Track is getting rutted. Oh, yeah. I almost did not see that bike. Some more people are leaving. To be expected. We have two more laps to go here. We're going to see what the gap is to second place here. Hopefully it's risen a lot with this E-Road. We're going to lap fourth here. It's going very well. That means we have two more people to get around in the next lap and a half. And we'll do this back-to-back -back times, which is insane. As look, the gap has grown too much to that guy in second, which sucks. But I'm not going to get my hopes up. Could still quit. Could still run into a lapper. So we're just going to keep sending it. Oh god. Ugh. All right, what is it now? 47 seconds, I think it read. 47 seconds is the gap. So it's going to be about 15 seconds we're going to have to make on this last lap. Is it possible, boys? Is it possible? Now, these guys, look how close they are, third and second. These guys could get into a tussle here, and there's yellow flags out right now. If people are down in this corner, boys, there is no way. Okay, one guy is down. This guy looks like he's fast, too. So this is probably second or third. And they probably got into a scuffle there. It is not. Dang it, it's ninth. 
Hold on now, it ain't over. It ain't over. Man, I've sent to this entire race. Like, I actually want to look at my lap times at the end of this because it's been so consistent, it's crazy. Oh god! I don't know why I keep jumping out of that. Probably because I'm in third gear. But we're gonna come around here. I think that was the last lap, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was. So we're not gonna get it done. Um, we got very close though. You can see the gaps there. When they finish their lap, they'll probably be a good 55 seconds uh, plus behind me. So, I mean, probably about seven seconds off there, getting the whole field on Forest. Which again, it's a bit harder just because the track's longer, but we got close, you know? We had a few guys quit as I predicted, but we're gonna look at my analysis real quick. You can see the pace slowed down a bit, just kind of getting into lappers, but look how consistent these sectors are. This sector right here, between the slowest sector time, which was, let's see here. It's like it was this 22.9 to my fast was a 22.5. So only four tenths of a second separated from my fastest, slowest sector right here. T3 was kind of close. It was kind of tough because of that lapper situation. But anyway, you got to be consistent, man. That's the name of the game. And the MLMX bikes that's in my